Hey everyone, this is Urban's Movie Corner, and it's time for a Blu-ray update for March 1st, 2021. I got two Blu-rays that I did receive from Disney Movie Club that I ordered on February 12th, which is Lunar New Year as part of the two for $20 sale, and finally came today. Let's begin the update right now. First is the 2011 60th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray, and that is Alice in Wonderland. This is a 1951 animated movie. I also have the 2010 live-action remake starring Johnny Depp and its sequel Alice Through the Looking Glass, both on DVD. And now I finally got the original animated classic version on Blu-ray. Blu-ray brings out every bit of eye-popping animated wonder, says Bill DeSowitz of Animation World Network. To this combo pack, if you want to read the bonus features, just pause and read to yourself. Rated G, feature running time is approximately 75 minutes. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And I already used the Disney Movie Insider's code. And the other Blu-ray I got is the 2010 release of James and the Giant Peach Special Edition. This is a 1996 movie. From the creators of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas and the acclaimed director of Alice in Wonderland. A stunner with a breathtaking array of eye teasers as USA Today. This is also a two-disc combo pack. Just pause and read to yourself for all of the special features. Based upon the book by Roald Dahl, it was produced by Denis Dinovi and Tim Burton and it's directed by Henry Selick. And it's co-produced by Allied Filmmakers. Rated PG for some frightening images. Feature running time is approximately 79 minutes. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And here's the Disney Movie Awards or Disney Movie Insider's Code. And yes, I did already use the code as well. So yeah. And not only that, I'm going to show it to you right now. It comes with a free pendant with every purchase. This is actually a Disney Movie Club Cinderella collectible pendant, which is nice as a free bonus. So yeah. And that's gonna do it for this Blu-ray update for March 1st, 2021. This is Irvin's Movie Corner signing off.